Hello there, and welcome to episode 383 of this series, where I play the regions of Europe one by one. Doing so in a tennis match format on GeoGuessr, meaning that in order for me to score points against my imaginary opponent, that I usually refer to as the game, I have to play games of 5,000 points each on GeoGuessr, and I have to do so within the time limits I've put upon myself, which are of 6 minutes per individual round and uh, 30 minutes per game of 5 rounds. But every time I play a 5,000 point round, I knock um, 2 minutes off my total game time. And if I finish the previous episode with a 5,000 point round, I knock 2 minutes off the total game time in the next episode. That was the case yesterday in Croatia, so today as we head into the Netherlands, I have 28 minutes on the clock. And we're moving into the region of Zout Holland. Uh, and uh, this is a very populous region. It's not very large, just shy of 2,700 square kilometers. We've got 3.8 million people living here. The largest city is Rotterdam, but uh, the capital is, uh, well, what we know in English as The Hague, Den Haag, or Haag, I guess. Grafen, Grafenhage? I, I have to, I'm, I'm sorry for butchering the Dutch. I, I'm uh, not very familiar with the pronunciation rules. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Zout Holland has, uh, well, as I said, not very small, but it's extremely busy. So I think I'm going to struggle here. I have struggled on Dutch maps before, and particularly when I am in urban areas because they, they they are a little hard to figure out and uh, it's full of little labyrinth labyrinthine um, puzzles to figure out how to get out of an area so that you can get some better idea of where, where you are but we will try nonetheless and uh, yeah 28 minutes might turn out to be way too little current standing is that i'm leading the game 30 love in the current game three one up in games in the second set i won the first set so mm, i think this is a chance for the game to pull a point back on me let's have a look so we're going to play it, and we're going to make a challenge out of it, like so. And uh, what do we have here? Okay, that is handy. Now the road is going steadily east-west is not handy. I like to have a bit of an angle. Mm, there's a road over there, but I think it looks like there's a road crossing over there. Okay, so we have this business which is called Presman. Presman or something. Um, right, and we got Dykes, which is hardly surprised. This is the Gode uh, thing. Okay, some kind of. Sounds like surveillance or something. Um, and speed bumps, but we are coming to at least a place where I can get to know the name on the road. Tve de Kruisweg. Okay. And the Lange Dam. Okay. So the Long Dam. And here we have. Okay, so it goes on. And that looks like a little community of sorts. So the Tweede Kruisweg. And what's over there? Trees. Looks like a community. Um, there's traffic on this road though. Let's try and go in this direction. So on the Tweede Kruisweg. Hmm. That might have been a bad idea. Oh well, I didn't put a checkpoint down, so now I just have to persist with it. I think. 
And that building looked a lot more closer than it actually turned out to be. Okay, yet another, well, not a speed bump, but uh, I guess they, you would call it a chicane. If you were on a racing track, well, there seems to be some sort of community coming up, but uh, still way over there. I should have gone the other way in the crossroads, but that is 2020 hindsight. Wow. For being a densely populated area, we are sure found a spare spot. But here, let's see now. So it's still Twin de Kreisweg. So, uh, yeah, Twin de means, Twin de, or whatever it was called, means second. So, Cruiseway or Crossway, I guess. U5, is that the number of the, uh, is that the number of the off-ramp? No, that's not the railroad. Okay. Well, this one might easily go into overtime. Or is it a railroad? No, that's a railroad. Okay. So what road are we on now? And I think we're just past the sign. I said my mind no, nah, it's my mind playing tricks on me. Hmm. I think I saw something about Ascension Day and then I see these little thingies along the road. The N two seventeen. Okay. Finally a clue. N27, there's a N217. Ah, uh, okay. And I'm heading eastwards. Let's look for Tweede Kreuzweg. And here's the Lange Dam. And let's see. We must have been down here, right? And that stuff must be this thing. So, I just want to confirm if we come to the Krumme Elleburgsweg, or whatever it's called. Uh, that is what's coming up over here. Let's see, can we go this way? Yes, but then the, <laughs> the road marker isn't there anymore. It's the Krumme Elleburg. Yep. Okay, uh, looking northeast now. Now the thing is, I don't think that is the entire complex here. I think that is that, the gray bit. So if I'm looking northeast, I'm looking at thereabouts. So I'm going to put myself there. I can do a very rapid count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Ah, no, last. <laughs> I had to because I was running out of time. Uh, well, thirty, fifteen, but still twenty-eight minutes on the clock. Mm, just ran out of time. 25, and I'm just going to have a look at that. So 25 and 9 is 34, so that is 17. Yeah. <laughs> I totally got... I did, get the, I did get it right about this not being the whole complex, but uh, my idea of northeast was totally off. Oh well. Okay, housing estate. This is the road which must remain unnamed. But, let's see. Oh man, there should have been a road name there. Okay. Hmm. 
close that. What does it say here? The Erasmus LAN, okay. Erasmus Lane. Yeah. Okay. So this could be Erasmus of Rot Rotterdam. Uh, but of course, it doesn't have to be. Well, it, it, I mean, it is Erasmus, Erasmus of Rotterdam, but uh, the road doesn't have to be in Rotterdam. But it said something here, and I want to see what it says on this post here. It's the uh, Mr. F. Bordenweig Lan. I think it says, and this is the Hella Kaseplant zone. That's all right. Okay. So we got the oh, here we go, Baltenweig Land. Yep. And I think if I head down here now. There's a bus stop here, and I want to check that out. Unfortunately, wait. So this is the end of a bus line in Haas, and this is called Haasweik, I think. Okay, so we have a name, and now everything wanted to stop instead. Come on. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can find a through road now. Erasmus Lan, yes. And we're running along a, along a dike. And this is not very promising, and that's a dead end. Yeah, let's see what it said about the Netherlands and the roads tending to be very, very labyrinthine. What's the name of this one? Well, are we still on the Erasmus Lan? No, this is a Morse. Lan and we had Haasweik, but I let's see, so we've been, well, we've been moving all sorts of directions, really. Okay, the Heleweik, okay, Mochsebelan, so. Should we go this way or should we go that way? Well, this one feels more likely. I think I saw. Yes, I did. But these are detour signs. Which are not very helpful right now. Okay, so we got the Kirkwegland. Uh, okay, can we find Haas like? I mean, it's going to be. No way I'm going to find Haas like this. But can't make home. Hmm. Now my eyes are just glazing over when I try to. Uh, try to f find place here. So we got Haastrecht over there. But I don't think we got Haasweg. Um. Is going, this one is going to go way into overtime. That is absolute certain. Okay, so we're heading southwards and we're crossing a big canal. Hasweiglan. Okay. And this, uh, let's see. Winkelzentrum Langefort. Okay. 
Okay. I just wish there will be some signs of some manner helping me on my way. A44, Nord Varmont, and I also saw Leiden, but that's... When I think about... Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind what I was going to say. Um, there's Varmont. Then Haasweg must be... Yeah, was, where was Haasweg? Oh, here's Haasweg. Just a little too late, Hansweg Lahn, and Wurzebel Lahn, and we came from the Erasmus Lahn, and we were down. Uh, Mr. F. Bordeweg Lahn. This is where we started out. And uh, we are. Let's see, so this is the number. So we're on the second little pier here, so we should be about there. Master Port of Eiklan. Yep. Unfortunately, that was overtime, so that means we're at 30 all. And I lose two minutes because it was a 5,000 mod round. Hmm. Oh, no more of the same. This is going to be a long one. The Lange Treif. Okay. And the Jan Licht, uh, Lichthardt Strat. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, there's a line. Jan Licht. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, the fence door and the build a dike strat. Let's see, so this is Jan Lake Tart. Looks like it's just going in a circle or going in a square around here. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't look like. Although, let's see, Berlin restaurant. Berlin restaurant. Okay. Ah, yet another one. That goes in. And this is the Vincent van Gogh. Yeah, I know you say Van Gogh, but uh, Van Hoog, I believe, is close it. Kameling on a single. Okay, all right. And Horn van Prinster single. Hm. Oh, deep in some, some city now. Down Wiebautstraat. And we're finally on something, and so Belagestrat is the one I need to find. And now everything stopped absolutely solid. There we go. Kerkweg, Church Road, I guess. Now can we see that church? <laughs> it might be around about up to the north, so we came from the west. Uh, Brekade, Tienweg West, another reroute, and Tienweg is the name of the stop. Yeah, because the Kirkweg is crossing that. Hmm. Lekker Kirk. So we're moving out of the center of this place. 
Let's see if I can find the name of it. The Kirkveg. And I have a feeling I won't be getting this one on time either. But, uh, could get lucky. Yes, uh, we are certainly leaving the area. There's a big sign. Where, okay, so the place is called Lekakak. So, at least that seems likely. Here we go. Yep, like a calc. Um, other directions. Yeah, that seems like a good thing. So we're getting out of like a calc, which is in the Krimpener Wald. Can we find Krimpener? Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a tall one, isn't it? Um, yeah, that looks like a tall one. So, Krimpener Kerk and... Let's see now. Yeah, like a Kerk. So, where are we getting by going this way? The N476. Okay, that's an interesting number. That's a 480, 455, 470, 471. So are we 489, 91. Four seventy, four sixty-four, four fifty-eight, four thirty-four, four forty-seven. Yeah, we got to be somewhere around the Rotterdam, don't we? So the four seventy-six, that's the seventy-one again. 475, here's the full, here's like a kerk, finally, just as we went into overtime, here's the Jan Lichtarzrat, now let's see, the Vincent van Gogh, and uh, on the single, and here's the Lange Drive, I think we, I think we started out there, let's see, here's the Lange Drive, Yes, we are here. There. Both side, but unfortunately a little too late. So that's 30, 40. Just a few seconds too late. And that means I've got 24 minutes on the clock and I'll probably be forfeiting the final two rounds, right? Well, I've got six minutes on the... Oh, five minutes to, to complete this one, it looks like. Can't quite see the entire time here due to a tiny little window covering part of the the uh, timekeeping window. Okay, so that's a fairly significant canal. That's can, can two canals crossing. And um, as much as I wanted to go westwards, I think I should head eastwards because it looks like the Houses are thinning out in this direction, and that means that there might be a big chance of finding this. Waddings Fen. So the Waddings Fence. Not fence like in the thing you put up to keep the neighbors away and uh, the cows outside, but uh, Fen like in an area like this. A wetland. Vadinks mm. fan. Mm. And we can get to. Now let's see. Goda. Okay. Uh, let's go and get some cheese, shall we? Has Goda. Vadinks fan. 
Okay. So, where, where in Vodingsfane are we? What's the name? So, we've got the Blomendalsweg. Ah, here we are. The Reval. Hmm. And what direction is. So, that's off to the west. To Vodingsfane. That's an interesting one. And once again, it's called the Blume Dalsweg. Ah, and we can also get to, okay, let's, so it's called the Reval. And Alpen and the Rhine, that's 13 kilometers. We can go to Vadig's Vein and, Vein and Boskop. Which is over there. But to the west. So did we come out of. No, no, no. We came out of Vadding's Fen. So to the west is Vadding's Fen. Okay, so that means we're over here. Um, and we came out of Vadding's. It's Reval. Okay, yeah, so we were on this. Yeah, we were here. And can I find that? No, we went that far down, were we? Let's see. Let's just put myself there for now, but I don't think we were that far down. No, definitely not. So, so here we go westwards. And I've just crossed a canal. The winter dike. Is this the winter dike? Okay, so let's go west and then we should have a road like this one, but that's not the one. Nor is that it. Um, okay. I need confirmation that this is the Bruchweg. Lots of houses on the other side here. Um, and then we have Yeah, the Swartberg and the Brugweg, yeah. And the Milburg Sveg, yeah. So, this must be this. It's got to be that. And this, and this must be the Winter Dike. And if that is the Winter Dike, then we're struggling a little bit for accuracy here. So, we have this house over here, this one. So, let's say it over there. At least I got that with... Well, did I get it within time? That's the next question. Let's see, I got... Did I get it within 24 minutes? I did not. So that was not as a point to the game. Well, I said so at the start. And that means I forfeited the final round. I'm actually not scoring a single point in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well. Uh, See on Kalk. Okay, so uh, we got the Roma Nohof. See on Kalk. I guess that's a Baptist church or something. Roma Nohof and the uh, Michelangelo Strat. Alright, so I can take my time with this one because I have forfeited the round already. So that's cool. Bramante Plain. That's the Michelangelo Strat and the Vignola Strat. The Michelangelo Strat is fairly long. Mm. 
I'm just going to have a nip down this one and see. No, I was hoping for a through road, but that was definitely not it. Oh. Moderna Strat dicht Parkerplatz via Palladio Strat. Okay. But there was also a sign here. Oh, I think that bus effectively blocked it for me. I guess it says the same here. Oh. Ah. If there's one thing you can count on in every city of the world, well, it's roadworks. So, ah. I wish I knew more about these letters. Okay, so it's another reroute. We got the Prince and Lan. Okay, so the Prince Lane. We got the Berlagestraat and another Berlagestraat. Okay. Like the one we had in the third round, I believe. And this says something down there that I would really like to. Well, I think it says something like Peter Berlage or something. Um, and I can't go that way. Yes, I can. And there it says uh, Van Heukelomstraat and Heukelomstraat. Yeah. And this is the Belagestraat. So the Michelangelo Strat leads, leads into the Belagestraat. It's a shopping mall. Come out. Berlage flat. Berlage, possibly. Merkelbach Strat. This still feels like a through road of sorts. And we go north. And. I want to. Go to here, Springerstraat. West. Get a move on. Not a through road. Gratamastraat. Ow. Now I've really done it. Um. Hmm. Alexander Kerk. Okay, this has more promise to it. Calling the Zoom. <laughs> I need some signs telling me some directions to somewhere. Okay, this is. Two Lane Street, Corning's Lawn, King's Lane, Scripper, Car Wash, Rove Centrum Alexander. So, which way do we go? Corning's Lawn. We could actually be named for someone called Corning. Actually, named for someone called Corning, it seems. Mm, which way do we go? Let's persist with north. Come on, give me any sign that will take me out of this. Let's have a little proper look there again. Nope, it was for King Wilhelm II, or William II. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. The Hoofdweg, okay, the 
the main road. And we've got some high rises here. There we have signs. That's what I'm looking for. And we have the S109. The S109 and the Ring A16. Let's find the S109. 101 and uh, there's a lot of S's. <laughs> Are there S's here? No, seems to be a what the dumb thing has the S109. Alexandrium. Yes, Hoftweg. Now let's see, and that's the Hoftweg. Can we find any of the roads we've seen? Oh, the Hoftweg is a long one. So, and what direction were we heading on the Hoftweg? Hoftweg, where we're we heading. Are we heading north on it? No. Um, this is still no, no, no. It's called the Postref. So here is the Hoft, Hoftweg. Here's the Kroningsland. The Prinzlan. Michelangelo Strat Bergstraat. Here we go. Bramant Plain. Now, where did we start out? We started out at the, not the Dossio, but it was called, uh, not the Vignola, it was, it was called Romaro, Romanohof, here we go. Were we there? So we were at the Sion Kerk to the south. It's got to be this thing, right? And to the north we have these little blocky things. So number ten it says here. Yeah. So well, that should be a fairly good placement. Yep. <laughs> well that took a while. Uh again, nice little spread and uh that one pretty much did me in. And of course, ending on... I wonder if I might have set a new record in accurate non-25k round, but uh, I'll check that later. And when I say a record, I mean for myself. So I'll have 28 minutes on the clock when I start again tomorrow. But yeah, South Holland... I did not score a single point. <laughs> that's, uh, and that's like just over two and a half thousand square kilometers. That's what urban areas will do to you in this game. So that is episode 283, sorry, 383 done. Please check in tomorrow for episode 384. Until then, bye bye.